What is the gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, it is go time with the one million Mega Crusher. Let's just jump right into the video, baby, because what I present you guys with is the long-awaited Regirock Guide. Everything you need to know about Regirock when it comes to Pokemon Go. Because, as you guys know, as of yesterday, August 16th, it has dropped as the new legendary level 5 raid boss. So, for those of you guys that don't know how to beat the legendary rock titan, we'll see, that's why your boy is here. I'm here to help you out. I'm here to give you the effective tools and the knees to be able to beat down a red rock and reduce it to rubble. So, with that being said, let's go over the basics about his typing, stats, and moves. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so when it comes to Regirock, you obviously know in the name Rock what typing it's going to be. It is going to be that of pure Rock. Now, I'll be getting into the weaknesses shortly, but I just want to point out the stats here real quick. It's going to have base 160 HP, base 179 attack, and a whopping base 356 defense. Man, oh man, it is an absolute crime why Regirock isn't allowed to defend gyms because I just gotta say, with a defense stat like that, like, it would be one of the best gym defenders, at least in my opinion. Now, after beating Regirock, obviously, you're going to be having an opportunity to catch it. So, when it comes to the catch CP of non-weather boosted Regirock, it is going to have a maximum CP of 1764. Now, that is obviously a 100% right there, so if you guys are after 100% legendaries, then that is a CP to commit to memory. Now, of course, ladies and gentlemen, if it is a weather boosted Regirock, then it's going to have a maximum CP of 2205, which is absolutely amazing. Now, with that being said, we have quite the amount of weaknesses that can be exploited from Regirock, such as the likes to fighting, grass, ground, steel, and water. So, you're most definitely going to want to start spamming Machamps and Hariyamas when it comes to fighting Regirock, and there's also a lot of other Pokemon that you can spam too. Now, when it comes to the moves, we can actually just zoom in right here. Its fast moves is going to be that of Rock Throw being a fast rock type move, and Rock Smash being a fast fighting move. Now, when it comes to its charge moves, it is going to have Stone Edge being its fa its charge rock move, sorry. We have Focus Blast being a charge fighting move, and Zap Cannon being a charged electric move. Now, before I go any further with my personal guide on Regirock, I just want to point out that Pokemon Go Hub is an amazing source when it comes to anything competitive and anything really Pokemon Go related. Uh, what we have here is a guide, a full-fledged guide from Pokemon Go Hub, and I just kind of want to go over some of the stuff that they are saying here real quick. Now, when it comes to the counters, okay, the supreme counters to Regirock would be Kyogre and Machamp. Now, Kyogre is without a shadow of a doubt, like, one of the absolute best Pokemon in Pokemon Go. I would say easily one of the top five, like, ever best, you know? It's just absolutely amazing, and here's the thing also, is that Machamp, the fact that it is on par with Kyogre just goes to show how much of an amazing Pokemon it is in general. It just seems like that it's, it's recommended everywhere, you know? Not only is it a great generalist attacker, but not to mention also, it is a really just, it's a solid fighting type Pokemon. Perhaps the best fighting type Pokemon that there is, and without a shadow of a doubt, one of the best general attackers that there is. Counter and Dynamic Punch have such an amazing combination when it comes to DPS, and fighting also covers a lot of Pokemon when it comes to weaknesses, you know? Fighting is super effective against the likes of Normal, Dark, Rock, Steel, and Ice. So, I mean, you know, the Reggies just get absolutely canned when it comes to Machamp and its Fighting-type prowess. Now, of course, there's also other really solid counters to Regirock, such as the likes of Groudon and Venusaur. Now, of course, Venusaur needs to have Frenzy Plant in order for it to... Uh, you know, be a relatively good counter to recommend against the likes of Regirock. Now, we also have ourselves other good Regirock counters, such as likes of Mewtwo, Executor, Hariyama. Breloom is actually on the list. I'm, I'm surprised, but at the same time, not surprised, because the thing is a glass cannon, you know? Uh, we also have ourselves Heracross, we got Vaporeon, and Poliwrath, even. I mean, Poliwrath is kind of a Pokemon that is outclassed, and it's really unfortunate, because I really like Poliwrath, you know? Um, 
on my main account, I hatched 100% of it. So, I mean, you know, I, I, I really like Polyrath. Its design is absolutely amazing. Uh, not to mention, also, its typing of water and fighting is pretty cool as well. Uh, got a lot of good coverage there as well, but we also have ourselves Metagross here that is recommended as Potion Conservationalist. Are you serious? Wait a second, what? Metagross as a Regirock counter? What? You read it right- you read it right, are you kidding me? Are you dissing my Metagross, son? Are you dissing my Metagross? You're, you're lucky I don't have the face cam on, son, because you'd be seeing the fire that burns in my eyes. Because Metagross is one of the most awesomest of awesome Pokemon in Pokemon Go. It just kind of sucks that, you know, Flash Cannon is a one-bar move instead of, like, say, two or three or something like that. But it still doesn't matter, man. It is the best Steel-type fighting the machine that there is. So why would you, why would you put that in there just to diss my Metagross, man? I think it should honestly be up there with good or even great Regirock counters. In fact, I would recommend right here and now that you use Metagross, okay? But hey, that's just my personal opinion because I happen to like Metagross and all that stuff. You know, it's a really good kick-ass kind of Pokemon and an excellent machine and all that. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I just kind of want to bring this section of the video here to showcase just how good of a guide Pokemon Go Hub is, you know? It is just absolutely amazing. It is a reliable website when it comes to news, when it comes to counters and tips and tricks and all that fun, hunky-dory stuff. But with that being said, I'm now going to present you guys with my top five list when it comes to the best, in my opinion, Regirock counters to use in Regirock raids in Pokemon Go, baby. Woo! All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I want to present you guys with my top five picks of the most recommended Regirock counters to use in Pokemon Go. Now, I have a little twist I want to add here in this top five list, and that is we are going to be picking one Pokemon per type that Regirock is weak against. So, Regirock is weak against five typings, okay? And we happen to have five Pokemon right here in this top five list. So, with that being said, hope you guys enjoy this little spin I decided to add in this top five section. Also, ladies and gentlemen, I want to make one final note to say that this list will not contain any legendary Pokemon because the reason being is it is really easy to spam the likes of Kyogre and Groudon and Mewtwo and all that stuff. But I wanted to make this list more interesting and more challenging. So with that being said, let us now proceed. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So the reason why you're seeing three Pokemon here in this number five spot is because it is going to be the representation of grass, okay? Now, we have Breloom here. Breloom is, like I said, a glass cannon, but it does the job pretty effectively if you really need to have a good grass-type attacker with the combination of Bullet Seed and Seed Bomb. It's going to offer high, high amount of damage, and based off of the fact that it's got really high attack, it's going to have a really, really solid niche when it comes to battling against Regirock. And then, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we have ourselves Executor, which, with the combination of Bullet Seed and Solar Beam, and having a really good high attacking stat in general, and also really good bulk for a Grass Pokemon, this Pokemon would probably be the better recommendation uh, over Breloom, especially given the fact that Executor just has better overall stats, you know? But here's the thing, is that it has access to Solar Beam, which while it is a great charge move by itself, it is only a one bar move, and it does take a little bit of time to be able to get that attack off in battle. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, we happen to have the wild card here out of the three grass attackers known as Venusaur. Now, I say it's a wild card because Venusaur has access to Frenzy Plant if you were a part of the Bulbasaur Pokemon Go Community Day event which took place back in March. Now, the thing is, is that Frenzy Plant is a two-bar charge move that is much, much better than Solar Beam and offers more flexibility when it comes to the usage of Frenzy Plant. With the combination of Vine Whip and Frenzy Plant, this Pokemon is going to offer a really, really solid amount of damage in battle against Regirock. Now, it's really a toss-up here, but I'm going to say that the best grass Pokemon to use out of Executor, Breloom, and Venusaur would happen to be Venusaur. Now, 
that right there is just my opinion. Feel free to tell me in the description box, or I should say in the comment section down below, uh, what Pokemon you think would be best to use against Regirock of the Grass typing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so coming up next, when it comes to fighting type counters against Regirock, we happen to have two very amazing Pokemon right here. Technically speaking, you could say we have a third being Breloom, but the thing is that Breloom is also good as a grass attacker as well. So you know what? Fine. Let's also throw in Breloom as well because of the fact that it does get access to counter and dynamic punch, which is an amazing combination of fighting moves. And it just so happens that Hariyama and Machamp also have access to counter and dynamic punch as well. Now, the thing is, is that Breloom, obviously, being the glass cannon out of the trio of fighting types I recommend, we have a lot of similarities when it comes to Hariyama and Machamp. You know, they both have very similar stats. Uh, Hariyama slightly more bulky with less attack, and Machamp slightly more powerful in the attack and less bulky. But the thing is, is that Machamp, when it comes to the attack, is going to have one up over Hariyama, whereas Hariyama is going to have a slight edge when it comes to tanking hits a little bit better. But if you're looking for an all-out good generalist fighting type counter against Regirock, then no doubt you are going to want to use Machamp, ladies and gentlemen. And Machamp, like I said, is just overall, I think, the best fighting type Pokemon to use in Pokemon Go against Regirock. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so now when it comes to capitalizing on its water weakness, there's really only one Pokemon that does the job very effectively, and that is none other than Vaporeon. Now, here's the thing, is that you're probably wondering, well, wait a second, what about Gyarados? You know, Gyarados is actually better than Vaporeon, thanks to having access to Waterfall. Well, that may be in a general sense, but against the likes of Regirock, where it carries Stone Edge and Zap Cannon, both of which hit for super effective damage on Gyarados, I don't think it's a good idea to use Gyarados against Regirock. So definitely, Vaporeon is the way to go, because not only does it have, well, it may have slightly less attack than Gyarados, it has much better bulk, and it's going to be able to take even super effective attacks against Regirock that much better. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, with the combination of the likes of Water Gun, Aqua Tail, and Hydro Pump, it is most certainly going to be a reliable counter to fall back on when it comes to battling Regirock, especially if you're running tight on items like such as revives and potions, and you happen to have a spare Vaporeon handy after getting lucky through an Eevee evolution, well then there you go. That right there is a really good Pokemon to fall back on if you're running short on counters and or items. Alright ladies and gentlemen, you guys want a good ground type attacker, well you got none other than Rhydon. Now, you do have to watch out for the likes of Rock Smash and Focus Blast because of its part rock typing, and obviously given the fact that Rock is weak against fighting type moves, this Pokemon does pretty damn well against Regirock, you know, it resists its rock type combinations, it resists Zap Cannon, so this Pokemon right here is pretty up there when it comes to being a good Regirock counter, with the combination of the likes of Mud Slap, Rock Smash, as well as Earthquake and Surf even, yes that's right ladies and gentlemen, this Pokemon gets Surf. This Pokemon is a good all-out attacking generalist against Regirock, and not to mention also it's got the stats to take hits as well. Now, ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, y'all should have seen this coming, honestly. I mean, here's the thing. Who better of a Steel-type attacker than Metagross? Seriously. Now, here's the thing is that Scizor is kind of up there as a good Steel-type attacker, but it's better as a Bug attacker, in my opinion. So, that leaves Metagross as the champ that runs the Steel Mill camp, you know? Now, here's the thing, is that Pokemon Go Hub wants to say that it's a good Potion Conservationalist. Good po Potion Conversationalist, my ass! This Pokemon is great as an attacker in general. Like I said, this Pokemon should be up there with good, if not great, counters. Because with the combination of Bullet Punch and Flash Cannon... This Pokemon is able to dish out a lot of Steel-type pain, and also I want to point out that this Pokemon has a crazy good stat distribution when it comes to taking hits and dishing out hits as well, and it also resists the likes of Regirock's Rock-type attacks, taking neutral from Zap Cannon and Rock Smash as well as Focus Blast as well, and it's just going to shake off those attacks because it's Metagross. I mean, Metagross has a stellar defense stat 
to boot, as well as really good attack stats too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so that right there is going to conclude this video. I certainly hope you guys enjoyed the video and the information as well. So, with that said, hopefully this helps you guys out when it comes to your battles against Regirock. Because the thing is going to be staying until the 20th of September, man. That is five days before my birthday. Man, how time flies when you're having so much fun, you know? But anyways, guys, I don't even feel like I'm going to be turning 28, man. Like, I don't feel like I'm in my late 20s. But with all that being said, I digress. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up as well. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to join the Woo Squad. So with that being said, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next upload.